Hey guys, Taylor here. Today I'm going to show you just in a few minutes how to set up an interactive voice response on your phone. Um, the process is really simple. If you don't know what one an uh, interactive voice response or IVR, they're also known as auto attendance. There's a few different names for them. Um, basically what it is, is it's a system that allows you to automatically read a message to whoever calls in and they can press, you know, one, two, three or select from various options uh, and they'll be routed um, various ways. So I'll show you the the example of what we're going to set up today. Um, it's a really simple, really simple IVR. Just ask them. Well, here you can listen Hello to. Hello, thanks for calling. Please press one for sales. Press two for tech support. So press we're going to press one, and this system is set up so if you press one, it'll actually dial my phone. If you press two, it'll dial a different phone. Um, but so I want it to dial my phone. So now it'll connect to my phone. We should hear it ring here. So there we go. Hello. So that's what we're going to be setting up today. We're going to go to the computer. It'll just take a few minutes to do it. Okay, so to set up our IVR, the first thing we need to do is go to RingRoost and sign up there. Uh, so RingRoost is basically a system that allows you to do various fun things with phones and call systems. Um, so it just takes a second to sign up. After you sign up, you'll come to this dashboard. Um, you'll need to deposit at least um, some initial funds in order to get started. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get a number um, to set our IVR up on. So what I'm going to do here is go to numbers and then type in my area code and hit search for, for phone numbers. Um, so just by default, make sure only voice and SMS in are selected. Um, you don't want SMS out for um, what we're doing here. So go ahead and get your number. I'm just going to choose the number at the top. Um, so then after we have our phone number, we're going to go back to our dashboard. Um, we're just going to use uh, our, go to the default board here. And here is the Ring Roost's basically call system builder. Uh, it's called a PBX or private branch exchange builder. It allows you to set up various call systems. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this answer call control. So this is the number that our interactive voice response system is going to be set up on. So whenever anyone calls into this number, what we want them to hear is something like um, what we're going to set up here. So we're going to use the menu control, just drag it and drop it on here, and then we're going to connect the two elements together. This is just saying, all right, when somebody calls into this number, um, the call flow is going to go into here. It's going to go to this menu control. And we're going to say, press 1 for sales, press 2 for tech support. So we're just going to keep it really simple. Um, so that's what it's going to say, and then we're going to add an item and add an item. And what these items are is it just saying, okay, so if a person presses one, we're going to go down where, wherever we connect this element. If they connect two, we're going to go down wherever they connect this element. So now we have to connect these elements somewhere. Um, so what we're going to connect it to is the dial control. And so the dial control just dials any phone number. So what I'm going to have it do is dial my particular cell phone number. 9417531 and we're going to set up two of these dial controls so we're going to have another dial control that dials I'm just going to use my cell phone number again but you can use a different cell phone number if you want it to go elsewhere so that way if they dial two it'll go somewhere else um, and then we need to save our call system we don't forget this step um, otherwise it won't work so make sure you save your system alright and then so we're going to go ahead and test this system out Okay, so we're testing the system out. Press 1 for sales. Press 2 for tech support. So I'm going to go ahead and press 1. And it should now come through and dial my cell phone number. So it's making the call. We should hear my number ring. So then my phone rings. All right, so that's the basics of how to set up an interactive voice response. The whole process should only take a few minutes. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.